is rebaptism biblical and should you be rebaptized? Uh, in, in order to answer the question about whether you should be rebaptized or not, um, we will first look in, in the Bible to see that rebaptism is biblical. We find in Acts chapter 18 an example, starting at verse 24, of a, a man, he was a Jew named Apollos, and how he was an eloquent man and mighty in the scriptures. He was instructed in the way of the Lord, and he being taught and being fervent in the Spirit, he spake and taught diligently the things of the Lord, knowing only the baptism of John. So he was baptized by John, and he know, only knew a certain uh, amount of truth regarding the Lord. But what he did know, he was um, faithful in teaching that. But Aquila and Priscilla heard him speaking boldly in the synagogue, in verse 26, it says, They took him unto them and expounded unto him the way of God more perfectly. So uh, here we have an, uh, an example that implies that because he only knew the baptism of John, they shared with him the way of God more perfectly, and he it implies that he was rebaptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of his sins. And so under the new covenant, all that had been baptized by John were still required to be baptized again um, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, because that's how you get into Christ. And so in, we have another example in Acts 19, the very next chapter, uh, about Paul who came to the coast of Ephesus, and he found 12 disciples. And he said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? This is verse 2 of Acts 19. And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. So they had not, not even heard about the Holy Ghost. So that causes Paul to ask them another question. And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? And they said unto John's baptism. So just like Apollos, who had only been baptized um, by John unto repentance, um, so had these twelve men. And we, we know that there are twelve because in verse 7 it says, And all the men were about twelve. And anyway, in verse 4, Paul then said um, that John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him, which should come after him, that is on Christ Jesus. And so when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. So they were rebaptized the the way that we're all to be baptized under the new covenant. And that's in the name of the Lord Jesus, into Jesus Christ. And so... You have there. You have two examples of rebaptism. So, um, should you be rebaptized? So, when should you be rebaptized? If you have been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins, after um, uh, repenting of your sins, after your own faith in Jesus Christ, um, and uh, yeah, and, and that's uh, you know, you happened sometime in the past. Uh, there's no reason to get rebaptized, none at all. There's one bap that's the one baptism uh, that pa Paul writes about in Ephesians four verse five: one Lord, one faith, one baptism. So uh, if you've sinned, it's not like you need to go get rebaptized. You just need to repent, turn to Jesus, and your one baptism. Um, it's for the remission of sins, past, present, and future. As long as you continue. A life of repentance. Um, so in, in, in that example, that's why anyone that falls into that category does, should not get rebaptized. But th there are many who have been baptized when they were an infant or when they were really, really young. Um, and therefore, they never uh, had faith in Jesus and they truly never repented of their sins before they were baptized. And so um, they would need to get rebaptized after uh, they can see that uh, their sins have separated them from God, truly repent of their sins, have faith in Jesus Christ and what he's accomplished, and then be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. So if, if, you're, if you were baptized when you were really young and an infant, that would be an example of when you would want to be rebaptized. Um, also, if you were even older, an adult, and you just got baptized because maybe you thought, well, my, my, my wife or my husband 
got baptized, therefore I'm going to get baptized. Or my, my close friends got baptized, therefore I got baptized. But it's not uh, upon your faith in Jesus Christ. It's not, uh, you haven't really repented. Um, then you should get rebaptized after um, having faith in Jesus, after really turning from your sins, repenting, uh, and turning towards God. And the other uh, way in which you should get rebaptized is if you have been sprinkled uh, or just had water kind of poured on you and you never were fully um, immersed in, in baptism. Uh, we see all throughout the Word of God that baptism is done by immersion. And so um, be planted in the likeness of his death uh, in, in full immersion in water baptism. And uh, so that's when you should be rebaptized. And then another uh, time uh, you, you should be rebaptized is if you've been baptized in the titles Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Um, and you want to walk in further obedience to Jesus, his command, and um, the apostles' commands to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And uh, so those would be the examples of when you would be rebaptized and when it would be a biblical rebaptism. So the question is, uh, out of all of that, uh, I think the biggest question for many are going to be, uh, do I have to get rebaptized in the name of Jesus Christ if I've truly rep I truly repented of my sins, had faith in Jesus Christ, and was baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? So just the titles were invoked in baptism. And this is where I, I'm, I myself, when I preach and share the gospel with someone, I am responsible um, for the gospel that I preach and that it lines up perfectly with the Word of God. And so because of that, I, I don't want to be, I don't want to be held accountable, accountable to God come judgment day for preaching a different gospel. Because we see in Galatians chapter 1 verse 8, um, this is Paul preaching to the church in Galatia, pe people who have already been born again. He says, But though we, the apostles, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which you have, we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. So he repeats it. It's, he he's emphasizes the importance of we, we need to preach the gospel that the apostles preached. And uh, we can't be uh, the judges of who, of the small little details and whether they're important or not. we got to go by the Word of God alone. So I think that uh, if you have been, truly repented, uh, had truly repented and had faith in Jesus, and you were baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I encourage uh, everyone in that who falls in that category to um, study the scriptures to see to allow the word of God to speak to you about the name of Jesus and the remission of sins and everything associated with baptism the power in the name of Jesus and it's the only name by which we're saved when you know all these things I encourage you upon that understanding and upon the confession of your faith in Jesus Christ and, and ha having repented of your sins to be rebaptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ um, I don't condemn anyone who, who doesn't choose to be rebaptized uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Neither do I condone anyone who, um, uh, you know, asks me, well, should I be rebaptized? Of course you should be rebaptized. That's my personal opinion. I, uh, I, just, I just know that uh, there's power in baptism and um, the name of Jesus being invoked in baptism is extremely important as we read through the book of Acts. So if you, if you are rebaptized, you're walking in further obedience to God's word. You're, there's blessing that comes with how we walk in further obedience with um, what God's word reveals to us. So then you have the word of God on your side. You, if, you, if you're baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you have the word of God on your side because they all did that through the book of Acts. That's how the apostles taught and obeyed the commands of, of, of Jesus. So it's not what you think. It's not what I think. It's not what your friends or family think that's going to judge you. It's the word of God uh, that's going to judge us on the last day. So we want to stick to what the word of God says. And we, we don't want to create these like, oh, I think it's okay. And all these I thinks and what ifs. But we want to just rest on the what, what the word of God says. So anyway, in that video, I just wanted to 
uh, hopefully shed some more light on uh, if you were uh, just uh, debating whether to be rebaptized and if that was a biblical uh, thing um, or understanding. Uh, now uh, you can at least have some some food for thought, and uh, I just pray that you would not let the opinions of man um, get to you to try to discourage you from what you know you should you should do. I know when I um, was uh, uh, wanting to get rebaptized, because when I was five years old, I was baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So I actually got uh, baptized for two reasons. One was when I was five, I didn't really understand that I was a sinner and I didn't understand repentance. So therefore, my baptism uh, wasn't really valid. And um, the second reason I got rebaptized because I was baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And I wanted to um, uh, walk in further obedience to the commands of Jesus and the apostles and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of my sins. And so um, that's why I was rebaptized. And the power in baptism, uh, I just, it, my life was completely changed after that day um, that I was baptized. And um, I just really encourage uh, the study of the word first. Allow the word to really speak to you because that's what I did. I just, I just studied the word and, and saw these truths God speaking to me. And I knew what I needed to do. I knew I needed to be rebaptized and um, and now I can look back and and know what that accomplished in my life and continually renew my mind with that understanding each day and walk in the victory that is in Jesus Christ so um, yeah let me know if you have any questions if you need me to uh, yeah just even if you're considering rebaptism and you're not sure uh, I'd love to love to have a discussion with you so Hope this has blessed you and helped you understand rebaptism uh, a little better. All right, God bless.